everybody, welcome to my channel today. I'm Mark the Tech Guy. Today, bringing you another app review, and the app I will be reviewing is called Need for Speed Most Wanted, and it is by Electronic Arts, and you can find it in the App Store for $6.99. So you can choose and customize over 35 unique cars, race the way you want by popular demand. You can now touch and tilt or tilt to steer. Use mods to enhance your car and get ahead of the pack in style. Experience the action with mind-blowing graphics and intense full car damage. Earn speed points to unlock new cars. Your rivals will do everything they can to stop you from getting to the top. But this world, there is only one most wanted. So here we go, it throws you right into a game right off the get-go. This is set to default settings, so it is, this is the accelerometers controlling the car. You can also do touch to control the car. So here we go. We are in the race. Now if you want to drift, all you do is tap on the right hand side and hold it down. Now if you want to brake, all you got to do is tap and hold down on the left hand side. Now, if you want a speed boost, all you need to do is swipe up on the right or left hand side and you will get your speed boost. So here we go. We're in second place. Let's try and overtake this guy. Because you also earn money for finishing the race quicker. So here we go. Swipe up for my nitrous boost. You can drift a little bit there. But you don't want to drift too much and lose control. So this is cool how they throw you right into a game right off the get-go. The graphics are very nice. The gameplay is very fluent and reacts very well to the accelerometers. I love the graphics of this game. And there you go. First place at a time of a minute and 41. There you go, I have unlocked a milestone, and now you can go on to the next race. And you can also sign in to your account if you have one with EA, which I do, but I'm not going to do right now. So here we go, I notice the load times in this are a little slower. So here we go, this is like a time trial. Now hopefully I don't run out of time here. Do a couple of nitrous boosts. So here we go, the police are getting involved now. And now you have to outrun the police. There you go, I just took out the cop cutter. I don't know how many years it will serve for that one. Alright. So here we go, there's more police on the way. There's one in front of me here. Hit the checkpoints. So here we go. And there's the finish. So I was able to finish the race without getting taken out by one of the police cars. And I just won $8,500 in that race. Alright, so let's go on. 
So well, here we go, I have unlocked the Ford Focus RS500. I can now purchase it if I want. And here we go, I've unlocked the maps. So there's a new one. So let's go into the shopping store where you can purchase, you can purchase money to spend on your cars. So you can see all the different packages you can purchase there. So let's go back and let's go to the garage where you can see all the different cars that you can purchase that I've already unlocked. So you can see there's a Hummer. Um, I already got the uh, Charger. Here's your maps. Now your settings, you can go in here and hit your controls and you can also do your tilt to steer or you can do touch and swipe to steer. Now you can set your sensitivity. If we go back. Um, now here's your settings. You can have the camera angles changed for the chase camera or the bumper camera. You can have it set in kilometers or miles per hour. You can have your heads up display on or off and you can pick from your different languages and your music, the volume of your music, you can shut it off if you want your SFX sound and you can also reset your data if you want to start over again or you can just use your default settings so let's go back so guys I would like to thank you guys for watching this app review of Need for Speed Most Wanted by Electronic Arts you can find it in the App Store for $6.99. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.